Hey guys, in this video, I will show how to cook okba. Okba di oko. Before we start, here's some information about okba. Okba beans is grown like black eyed beans. There are different species of okba. It comes in these small pods. The seeds are quite hard and only special heavy duty grinders can easily turn them into powder. To prepare the classic Nigerian Oba, like the Oba experts of Ninth Mile Enugu and Oji River, these are the only ingredients you will need. First, we prepare the dry banana leaves for wrapping the Oba by washing them thoroughly in lots of salt water. You can also wrap the Oba with transparent plastic bags or aluminum foil bags we use for Nigerian moi moi. Have some strings ready for tying the leaves. I use the string from this Nigerian rice bag. Any strong food safe string or twine can do the job very well. Next, crush the stock cubes. Sift the flour into a big enough bowl. Add salt and the crushed stock cubes. Add the palm oil. Always, always use the quantities of ingredients. I usually state in the video, in the description of the video, and on my website. Do not try to eyeball the quantities from what you see me add because when editing a video, I usually cut off a lot of stuff from the video. For instance, here, I will not bore you with clips of me adding 15 tablespoons of palm oil. <laughs> I use this much palm oil because I want the oba to have a popping yellow color. You can add less if you want. Mix it very well till the palm oil is well incorporated into the flour. Now, set some water to boil on the stove. It is important to use a big pot. Start adding the lukewarm water to the upper flour and mix till there are no lumps. I don't usually stress myself crushing those lumps with the spatula. As soon as I get enough water in there, I just pass the mix through a sieve with a wire mesh. Easy peasy. Once happy, I add the rest of the water. You need this much water so that your bar will not be as hard as stone when done. <laughs> add the sliced habanero pepper. Add more salt if necessary and it's ready to be scooped into the wrappers. Before the next step, make sure the water is boiling. Place some of the wrappers in the pot to form a base for the upper wraps. I'll show three ways to wrap upper. The first method is the one used in Enugu State. Place two sheets of banana leaves on a flat surface like this. Fold one end to meet the other and roll it up till you have enough fold to prevent a leakage. Gather one end together and tie it up securely with the string. the mix into the bag. Be sure to stir the mix very well each time before scooping. Tie up the other end and it's ready to go into the pot of boiling water. Okay, here, these are my mom's hands. <laughs> She's showing the second method, which you may find easier. This one is more common in Anambra State. Again, place two sheets of banana leaves on the board. Fold one end like a mat till you have enough fold to prevent a leakage. Pick it up and place the pointed end in the cup of your palm. Stir the mix and scoop into the leaves. the 
other end and gather the open end together before tying with the string. and it is ready to go into the pot of boiling water. If you do not have banana leaves or you find the previous two methods challenging, then this third method is for you. I normally use two transparent plastic bags. How to get two portions of upper with one bag. Now, something very important. When you finish with one wrap, place it in the pot of boiling water, wrap another one, place it in the pot, and so on. When done, cover with more leaves or plastic bags. Cover the pot and cook on medium to high heat for at least one hour before checking it. It is done when it is solid all over. For breakfast, serve with cocoa drink, agamo, custard meal or oatmeal. You can also eat it as a snack with a chilled drink. Enjoy!